Once upon a time, there lived a bird with two heads. One day, one of the heads saw a delicious piece of fruit lying on the ground and it immediately started to eat it, all the while commenting on just how utterly tasty it was. The second head said, if it's so tasty, won't you share some with me as well, please? Because after all, we are the same person. We even share the same body. But the first head wouldn't let the second head anywhere near it. It kept twisting and turning and saying, it's okay, you'll get the benefits of it when it reaches our stomach. If we're the same person, then we don't both need to have it. And no matter how much the second head asked, the first head did not let it touch the fruit at all. The second head was furious and it thought, you wait, I'll show you. So the next day when they were out walking again, the second head noticed a deadly piece of poison on the ground and in that moment of revenge decided it was going to eat it. The first head tried its hardest to stop the second head. It said, you fool, if you eat that, you'll kill both of us. But the second head wouldn't listen. It ate the poison and it killed them both. So what's the moral of this story? Well, as you can see, I think the story has so many lessons. But today, ladies, I'm going to actually make the story about a lesson that we need to learn as women. You know, they say that women can be each other's worst enemies and unfortunately, a lot of the times that's very true. So ladies, here's the thing. You know, we are all connected, which means that if you stand up for the rights of even one woman, it has a ripple effect and eventually we all get the benefits of those rights. Similarly, if you cut down even one woman, that also ripples out and eventually that same disempowerment belongs to all of us. So I guess for me, the moral of the story is that if you cut down your community, no matter what that community is, you cut down that community, you cut yourself down as well.